Okay, so let's look at this question 8, which has the problem in leaving Cert Higher Paper 2. It's based on a navigation scenario, and a ship is going from a port H to a port P. And we're given a diagram, and we're given some information. So, what's the problem here? Well, basically, we've been given four bits of information here, which is quite unusual in itself. So we've been told that we've got, we've got 80 kilometers here, so that's... 80 kilometers. We've got 124 degrees, which is already on the diagram here. We have 110 kilometers, which is here. Okay, so that's our 110 kilometers. And we also have this 36 degrees here of an angle, and that's not actually mentioned in the description. But okay, that's fair enough, it's in the diagram. So somebody coming along to this who knows their trigonometry would probably say, hmm, that's a bit unusual because why have I been given four bits of information to solve this triangle? And, you know, that'd be unusual because normally if you were given like the 80 here and the 124 and the 110, then you could pretty much solve this triangle and answer all the questions about angles and side lengths on it. So, the, you know, a bit of an alarm bell there for the more diligent student or for the more advanced student. But okay, to solve this, um, we've been asked, the first thing we've been asked is find the distance from R to HP. So that's from this point R down to this line HP. So basically what you're talking about is a perpendicular distance here. Okay, so what's that distance? That's trivially easy to find out using basic trigonometry, junior cert level trigonometry. Bear in mind this is leaving cert higher. So you use, you know, you could use the sine ratio. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we don't need to go into that. I'll do another video going into exactly what the solution is. So you could do that and find your answer. You could also, you know, if there was that little doubt in your mind, you might say to yourself, okay, I'm going to double check this. I'm going to use a second method to find this out. And you might say, well, there's 36 degrees there. 124 degrees there, so that's 130, 160. So that leaves me with 20 degrees here for this angle. Okay, and then what you could do is you could use the sine ratio again and figure it out independently. And what you would actually find is that you get two different answers roughly 47 kilometers one way if you calculate it, and 37 kilometers if you calculate it the other way. So at this stage, if you're in your exam, you would be quite perturbed at this stage because you should find the same answer regardless of which method because they're both valid methods. And so you probably would start double checking and yeah, a bit of a worry. Now, if you were a less diligent student, you probably would just use one method, find your answer, give your answer and, you know, carry on and then go on to the next parts and continue based on based on what you've found out already and it mightn't even cause you any problems so it's a bit ironic that the be the more you know about maths the more problems that this um, triangle will cause you so let's do a really rough sketch of what we've been given here so we have this side and this side and something like that so this is H this is P over here and this is R okay and we just put in the dimensions that we've been given so we've been told 80, we've been told 110, um, 124 degrees, and 36 degrees. Okay, so actually, you know, that would imply that this is 20 degrees down here as well, by the way. That's pretty easy to figure out, okay? Now, this side is not necessarily that easy to figure out. You know, you can't do it just by looking at it. So let's have a look at this, because certain combinations of side lengths and angles are possible, and certain combinations are not possible. So let's have a look at that. But first of all, I'd just like to say, if you tried to um, sketch this out using a scale diagram, so say you said 80 kilometers, let's make that 80 millimeters, 110 kilometers, let's make that 110 millimeters. You know, use your protractor and put in 36 degrees and 124 degrees here. Then you just won't get a triangle. It's impossible to make a triangle with these dimensions. We're just going to use a little online triangle solver to show that as well. So you can actually check this out for yourself if you go to this link. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some of these dimensions. So let's just take the ones that were in the description. So we say a side of 80, okay, and an angle of 124, 
124, and another side of 110. Okay, so if we put in those uh, two sides in an angle, we should be able to solve, you know, using trigonometry. Now, the this little web page is going to do it for us, but we could do this manually. And so we're going to solve this triangle. And if you notice here, the 33 for this angle, but we've been informed in our diagram that that's 36. So that is a contradiction. That just is impossible to happen. Okay, so you might say, all right, well, let's clear this. What if we put in the 36 and we take the 80 here and we put in, say, the 124 angle here? Okay, so yeah, that's fair enough. If we compute that, now it turns out this side has to be 140 if these three dimensions here are 36, 80, and 124. So you can see from this that um, the scenario that we actually have here is just not possible. That's why you get two different answers uh, if you work it out. Basically, the, if they had left off the 36 degrees, then there wouldn't have been a problem here. The, the triangle is just over-specified. So here's another ironic twist in this whole story. If you did this paper through the Irish language, you would have got this version of the question. Now, do you notice something very different? Well, the 36 degrees is not actually specified here. Okay, so there's no angle specified here. So in fact, this this scenario here, obviously in Irish, but it's got the same um, basic facts and the same scenario described in the descriptive element. So we've got 80 here, we've got 110 here, and we've got 124 here. And there's no mention of the 36 in this description either, but this diagram doesn't have the 36 included in it. So actually this is a completely fine scenario. There's no problem whatsoever with this, and um, it's a legitimate question. The problem arose when apparently um, the State Exam Commission realised that this diagram was different than the English language version, and um, decided that um, they better let the people doing the maths through Irish, they better let them know that this should be 36 and apparently at the start of the exam they announced this and the students hand wrote it into the diagram. So now suddenly you do have a mathematical contradiction and you're in the same uh, situation as the English language uh, students. So th that was quite ironic as well. Now the final point of interest on this uh, exam paper and let's go back to the English uh, language version of it. I'm just going to clear this actually. So yeah, the other uh, issue here was that um, the description says that, um, okay, we've got a port P, sorry, the port P is directly east of the port H. Okay, so there's P and there's H. Now, to sail from H to P, a ship first sails 80k in the direction shown in the diagram. So roughly speaking, the ship is going something like this, okay? Very roughly. Uh, and it goes 80 kilometers. So let's just show that. So it goes along 80 kilometers. Okay. And then it says it turns through an angle of 124 degrees. Okay. So imagine your ship is pointing this way and you decide to turn the ship through 124 degrees. That's more than a right angle turn, isn't it? It's more than 90 degrees. So it's, it's actually you're turning the ship pretty much this direction. Okay. Okay, might be slightly off there, but it's it's turning at more than 90 degrees. It's more than a right angle turn. So then you go 110 kilometers, so slightly longer than the previous one. So you end up down here. Now that does not bear any resemblance to this diagram up here. Okay, um, so that's a problem. Now let's just fill this in. Um, we turn through 124 degrees, so that's your 124. Now this is 180, the full angle, so therefore this angle in here must be 56, okay? Now what they've done is, and it's a simple enough mistake, uh, but it's just not acceptable really. What they meant to say is that they turn through an angle of 56 degrees, which is the exterior angle here, leaving an angle of 124. Now in all fairness, um, the students will probably work off the diagram but it's still not correct and it's still not acceptable and you can see that if we follow their description we we end up down at a point P 
which is not due east as described because that's due east straight over there remember we've got due north shown in the diagram here so therefore going over to the right must be east okay so that's not correct that's a contradiction uh, probably a more minor point compared with the the huge error that um, we described in the earlier part of this so two big errors in a question probably unprecedented in leaving cert maths and definitely would have caused a lot of confusion for students we assume this the State Exam Commission is going to do the right thing and give the marks. So that's it. I'll do another little lesson later on possible solutions that people might have seen. But the point is that we had a contradictory situation here. It was mathematically inconsistent. It was not possible to give a definitive answer to the questions that people were presented with. So hope that helps people understand what the overall issue was.